Good morning! This is Lini with AAA Sewing and Fabric. Hi Louise. Hi Diana. Kind of waiting to see if we get some more people here. Evie's here. Oh, Doris is here. Fancy Pants is here. Everybody's coming on in. We've got a fun project today. Um, one that I've actually kind of gone berserk on is <laughs> I'm looking at all the ones I've made and ones I've given away and it's like, oh boy. So um, I just wait for a couple more people to come. Good morning, everyone. Sleem is here. Hi, Pam. <laughs> so um, I'll give you a sneak peek of what it is couple months ago Kimberbell did a um, Kimberbell blanks they did a man bag okay so I took it a step further and made a girl bag only I made it bigger because us girls need a little more room and then I took it another step further and this is what I'm going to show you how to do today or this is a really pretty color and they're actually here to use the leather and this is Kimberbell's leather and it comes in so many pretty colors my two favorite colors I don't know what the glare let's see if I can get it here not too bad gold and then the rose gold which I think is absolutely gorgeous why am I not surprised those are your favorite <laughs> colors <laughs> I did use navy on this one, oh, it's <laughs> so miracle. it's a miracle, <laughs> and there's black on this one, so it comes in many different colors. But one of the other fun things that I use on it is, and I don't know if you can see this really well, oh, maybe on, the, maybe the, on the, table. the table. Let me change it to the table camera, and you're going to see my messy table. But there you, go. there, you can see how pretty it is, and then of course Lini has to bling. So I did a little bit of bling, and this is the, um, I guess it's pleather. It's kind of the fake leather. And Sleem has got some beautiful samples here in the store of all the different kinds of pleather that you can use. So you can really change up um, what your bag looks like, or you can add um, the leather from Kimberbell as well. There we go, that's better. So I'm just gonna show you how to do this. We, um, and then this one here. And then I'll talk about measurements. You may want to, you can always re-watch this if you want to. Um, but I'll talk about the different, um, yes, Lynette, we definitely need our bling. <laughs> and so, um, and with that, we also use the um, RNK Hot Fix Rhinestone Setter, which I absolutely love this one because it's um, no cord attached. So it's actually really kind of fun to um, put the bling on. I can sit in my chair watching TV and bling away lots of fun colors and things like that. Maybe can you tell them how this bag was just a regular zipper I was going to show them how can, to, I'm going to go through that. that. Yes. Yeah, that's the cool part. So the cool part about this bag, it's a zipper pouch blank. And I don't know, can you see this? There we go. I've got it upside down. I always do that <laughs> thinking you need to see it the other way. The zipper pouch bag comes in two different sizes. One is a 7 by 10 inch, and then there's a smaller one that's a 6 by 8 inch. So you can see between the two sizes, let's do this, there's the one size, and you can see the difference in the bigger size. So um, they really make really fun bags, but they really are just a zipper pouch. And I don't know if you can see the picture, I wanted to turn it around again. Which you just easily, because the way that it's made, it comes already with the zipper in. It comes with your two outside and it does come with the lining. So it's really kind of nice that you just, it's a really quick gift item to sew all the way around it. You want to make sure that your zipper is open so you can turn it inside out. Ask me how I know. Um, and so it really is a really quick um, gift item or, um, or just, just a fun pencil pouch for the grandkids. You can pick all sorts of different designs on here. 
I actually use this one came off the Solaris and um, I'll talk about measurements and all of that kind of stuff when we get going. This is a design that's built in the Solaris here. This is one that it's a Kimber Bell Blanks and I want to say something with butterflies. butterflies yeah. yeah, it's really a, um, a different one. And I want to talk about size on these. And this one, if you order, I guess any of the, the um, pouches, they're on the website, you will get a video of how to make this one in a free design, okay? But the rest of these are literally on the machine and this was a CD. So it's really fun, a fun, fun project and you, the, it's, the sky's the limit on it. Now, here's some important information. This blank color, this really pur pretty plum purple is a um, one of a kind. They aren't making it anymore. So we've got a few of those that you can order online. I love this color. It goes well with the gold. You can see you can put it with the sparkles here and make all sorts of different blanks. They are so much fun. So let's talk about how to make this bag. Move all my stuff out of the way. So if you order the two different colors, or you, I want, I will go over this. The instructions say that you need um, the bag handle, which is going to be a one and a quarter by six inch. So here's the bag handles, and let me get all my stuff out of the way. These are my tools for us to make this today. So this is the one and a half, one and a quarter by six inches. On the bigger one, I made it one and a half by seven inches. Okay? So, and with the bag handle, all you want to do, you get make two of them, is they just set you turn it, um, fold it over in half, and then you sew down each side. I use the quarter inch foot on the inside of the foot to make it even. And then on the bigger one, I use the inside of the um, open toe foot to stitch it. And you can, I don't like this. If I were gonna do this again, I would probably make it maybe two inches and fold in and fold in and then do it so you don't have this cut edge. I would prefer with this leather to have it a little bit bigger. So I would go with one and a half, or, um, two inches by seven inches for your handles and then you just sew them. So you get those ready and then you take your bag. Now what they recommend on the bag, and I did it, is I use SF-101, oops, there you go, and I actually ironed it on the back of the, um, the front of the bag, and I also put it on the back of the bag, even though I'm not gonna do embroidery on this one. On the ones that I've made before, I actually like it that if I pick it up, the design is on both sides. So that's one of the things that that's up to you on it. So once you um, take your bag and you do your embroidery on it, <coughs> you want to measure up the bottom of the bag is on the smaller version, let's go to the small version, is three inches by nine inches because your bag is um, eight, roughly eight inches. So you make it nine by three. And on my bigger bag, I made it just a half inch bigger and made it 10 inches along the outside edge, okay? So I cut two pieces because they're going to go on the front and the back. And then um, you do the embroidery. So what I did, because it's three inches, and this is actually seven inches, I found a design that I could put in here that was three and a half inches by, <coughs> you want to make it no more than 10. Okay. <coughs> and you can embroider that. And then I found my center and I went ahead and did my embroidery. I use um, stable stick or um, any sticky stabilizer. You can use the water soluble, soluble sticky. Um, you can use um, anything that a uh, uh, stable stick tear away and then you put it in your hoop this was in my five by seven hoop and um, and I find my center in between these two and stick it down and then you do your embroidery okay so that's step number one 
and you can see here's the smaller one so I did it on both sides then once you're done with that then those two pieces that you cut out of the leather or the pleather or any of the I thought even I could put glitter mm -hmm. down here on the glitter bottom vinyl. glitter vinyl would be so pretty on here so I mean it's like oh I keep coming up with new things so um, our new ideas so all you need to do then is just stitch across the bottom of the or the top about a quarter of an inch away and I left the raw edge could you go over and fold it yes but that's a lot of bulk that's in the seams because you've already got your two lining pieces your two top pieces so you definitely want to do that so the first thing that I'm going to do is now that I've done all of that what you want to do is take your t front and your back and I use just good old wonder clips and you want to match those up you might have to clean up your edge of the leather when you do it and let's see hopefully you can see this make sure I got both pieces here and then I'm going to also do the lining. And I'm just matching up my bottoms. And sometimes these Kimberbell ones are a little bit off. But you'll clean it up as, as you sew. So now I'm just going to sew a quarter inch seam across here. And I'm going to sew a quarter inch seam across here. So I'm going to change to the different camera, to the machine. Oops, there we go. And stitch this for you. Sorry, I put the regular foot on. We have to change the No, it's fine. Hopefully you can see that. So I'm just going to go ahead and stitch across. And I just use a regular two and a half. Um, stitch length and I do go a little bit slower with the leather and then I'm going to sew the other side Take it back to the other camera. So now that I have it like that, I'm sewn both sides. I'm going to turn it inside out. If you open the zipper. <laughs> See, I told you it's a problem. <laughs> okay. So you can see I'm going to turn it. And what I want to do you normally, I won't do it today, but I will flatten this out to make it press. You can use one of those roller presses or, or a Teflon sheet with your iron kind of make sure that it stays flat. And then I'm going to take it, and this is kind of the, the kind of a weird thing. So I want to see that it's flat. I'm going to turn it around again. And I want to take that zipper Come on, Lainey. Now it's got to be inside. Oh, hold on a minute. <laughs> I 
inside the lining like this. There I go. And I want to get that zipper so that it's even with this piece right here. And my lining is also. So it says I want to close my zipper halfway. Place the zipper side down and align the teeth with the zipper teeth, or align the bottom with the zipper teeth. So, something I am not doing right. There it is. So my bag is inside. I don't know if you can see this. And the bottom seam, as Lynette said, I'm trying to get it. And I want to keep it halfway open. So basically you just turned Turn it, it right, inside out. Yeah, inside yeah. out, yeah, and then just line it up. Then what I want to do is make sure that those are lined up. And my open zipper end is on the right hand side. That was what kind of throwing me off. I don't know why. I just made three of these yesterday. <laughs> 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 I'm on camera, so that's it. <laughs> So, I need my clippies, and now what I'm going to do, and again, absolutely positively sure you've got that zipper open so you can get in. Like this, I want to make sure it's flat. Make sure my seam is flat. Make sure that I'm centered over my zipper. And nothing is wrinkled on the inside. Okay. Alright, so what I'm going to do is sew across here on this side and I'm going to sew across on this side. And um, it doesn't matter whether you backtrack or anything like that because you're literally going to cut an inch off on each side and that's where you're going to put the handles in. So we're going to go ahead, I'm just going to go ahead and stitch all the way across. Changing my camera. And away we go. You want to make sure that the zipper is straight across because this is the one chance you've got to make sure that that zipper is locked so that it doesn't come off. So I'm going to backtrack a little bit but I'm just going to at the inch mark now it's moving on me. side. looks kind of funky but I got to change the camera so you can see how funky it looks there we go and I'm gonna go back and restitch this here just a little bit because you see it moved on me 
guess if I were taking my time on this, I would um, definitely have pinned it a little better. So let me go back and do this real quick. So then what I'm going to do is I've got my little handy dandy Frixion pen and I love this little ruler and all I'm going to do is take an inch on each one, hopefully you can see that. here and an inch on this side. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is take the scissors, and this is the scary part, and cut a box corner out. Can you bring it up? Oops, I'm sorry. Scary to cut into it's cut project. into the project. It's like, oh my goodness. <laughs> There's no going back. Nope. <laughs> Oop, didn't quite cut it to the edge. Just don't cut the fingers while you're at it. Okay. So now, the fun part. And this is so quick. What you want to do is box your corners. And it's just your typical boxing of your corners. But before you do that, it's one inch regardless. And um, uh, the more you take, the smaller your bag gets. So I use the one inch because it gives a nice boxy, um, let's see. So I don't know if you can see. If I took more out, it would be more square. Let's see if I do that. And it doesn't matter. You can see here on this little one, they're, they're exactly the same. So it's up to you as to how boxy you want it. The one inch to me worked just fine for this. Um, so what I wanted to do is, again, I want to clip clip. Make sure you're holding on to that handle. And then you want to grab it and you want to make sure that it's not twisted and bring it over to the other side. And then you can see I'm squaring it so that it's kind of in the center. Flattening that seam out. Interesting, so the handle goes through your box. Your seat. box, Interesting. yeah. Interesting. Yeah. So. Very cool. Now I'm going to do only the one side at a time just because <laughs> it's, you know, you're not fighting it. It's really easy. So I'm just going to sew across and sew across this other side. So I'm going to take it back to the sewing machine and I'll be right back with you. There we go. So you want to move it out of the way. I'm always one for, and I know a lot of people don't, I put the needle down first to kind of hold it in place and then put the foot down. And here's where I'm going to backtrack. Hopefully my hand's not in the way too much. And then go to the other side. Making sure that you catch the handle. Okay, 
So then when I pull it out, oops, I've got to change, change the camera again so you can see what I'm doing. There it is right there, so it's in the seam. So now I'll do the other side. Again, taking my handle, wherever it may be, putting it inside. Okay, and then um, clipping, making sure that it's not twisted. Boxing that corner, and this is just like boxing any tote bag or anything like that. But it's kind of cool to put the handle in there. It's like that's really different. I uh, kind of thought, and then I thought you could just do one box them all, but do one corner and duplicate it. So then you have it on, you know, on like a, a wrist wristlet. or something, mm -hmm. a wristlet. Mm -hmm. it's very cool. So um, so anyway, now I'll go cross and sew this. Or I'm going to move to the other. Machine. Oops. Here I go. Aha. Louise says that's a great tip about the needle down in the beginning. I, I do it all the time. Yeah. Um, it just gives me so it's not going to move on me because I know that as we're working with bulk. Yeah. But I tend to do it with everything. Um, so and I gotta move this out of the way. And I know sometimes people have the um, uh, levers that you use with your knee and stuff like that, the needle down, needle up. Oh yeah, Lynn I, loves her knee lift. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not a knee lift person. I don't know, maybe I can't do three things at once, chew gum, <laughs> knee lift, and... Um, uh, so at the same time, but <laughs> so now those are both done and literally you turn it inside out and you've got yourself a cute little bag. Oh my god, that's so cute. I need to make one. Oops, and this one I did catch in the seam. That was my bad. On both sides. There, I'm going to take you this one. <laughs> So same thing then with the smaller version, you do exactly the same. Sew the two side seams together, turn it inside out, going inside the lining, and then um, cutting your, sewing your, um, sewing your sides, and then um, just cut your corners and you're done. You've got the cutest little boxy box. There you go. I like the idea of doing the embroidery on both sides, to be honest with you. Um, I think it adds to it. Uh, you can see I did it on this one as well. And you don't want to do anything. Now here's another point that I did. And I kind of like this one better. Is my design went from where this is all the way up to the zipper. No hand sewing. You're absolutely right. This one I made it so that it, it actually um, stopped at the top. And I kind of like the design coming all the way up to the top. So um, again, you just pick your designs. There are so many pretty designs on our machines. Um, and then I thought this was kind of plain looking, and so I added the little bling to it, which just kind of pops it out and adds it. I just noticed, so the butterfly bag doesn't have the fabric on the bottom. This, this one right here, this. No, yeah, it does. Oh, it does have it. It does. It has a so here's my mistake, and I always like to share my mistakes rather than, you know, so that you don't do them as well. I decided I was going to do the bigger bag, but what I didn't do, which I should have done, and that's why I gave you the dimensions on it, I did not add anything to the bigger bag. That's what it is. Okay. And so it didn't go far up. It should go to where your edge is. And if you look at all of mine, they actually do go to where the edge is on them. And I like that better. Oops, wrong way. So that you've got the line, this, and it comes up higher on there. So you can so, see it from the side. So you can see it from the side. So again, your dimensions on that, if you're doing the small bag, 
for your bag bottom is three inches by nine inches. So when you look at your, your um, let's see if I can get this in without the glare. Your bag is six by eight inches. So if you cut it three by nine, it's half of the width of the size of the bag, if that makes sense. And then you'll cut off a little bit, but you do have given these, and these Kimberbell bags sometimes are a little wonky, so you have to kind of make sure you use your ruler and go down and cut it. The bigger bags are seven by 10. So my first thought is, oh, I'll just do the three inch. Well, you can see on this bag, the three inch just didn't do it. And so I definitely added the half inch to it. You could even go four if you want to, but the three really, um, three and a half, I believe, no, I, yeah, three and a half was enough that it covered the bottom. So three and a half by 10 for the leather, for the bottoms on the bigger bags. And then the bottom um, of the bags for the small one is three by nine. So three and a half for the large and three inches for the small. And then your handles, I would go, they're saying one and a quarter inch for your handle. And all you do is fold it over once. I would prefer making it triple that and putting it folded in, folded in and fold it. So you have a nice folded edge on both sides. So um, with the raw edge and all of that, I just didn't, I don't care for it so much, but it, I was kind of doing with what they say. And of course you always change things as you go and as you get better and do different things to it. But I do like the design coming all the way up to the top. So when you're picking your designs with it, and again, because this is three and a half and your um, width of this or your, I guess, length of it, height is seven inches your design can be up to maybe three and a quarter because you want to give room for the zipper and all of that so um, so I did my design three and a quarter and it can go probably an inch and a half or three inches shorter than what yours so a seven inch design by three and a quarter would work fine on the bigger bags and then uh, I would make it a half inch smaller on the other one so Hopefully that answers all your questions. Does anybody have any questions? Just a fun way to make a bag um, quickly as a gift. It's like one of those things. And I use them for USB sticks. Um, I'm, uh, my rotary cutter fits really well in the bigger version of it. And I'm going to change you back to me. Um, so your, your rotary cutters work in it. Your scissors a set of scissors in there so there's a lot of different things that you can put in there just to go or makeup I'm not a one for wearing makeup so um, it's a it's it's a sewing caddy as opposed to <laughs> <laughs> threads will fit in here so that you have a going to a class or you're going you know I have a lot of different machines and so I can put one by each machine with the threads that I'm using on it um, so they're just really a lot of fun and I love the, um, do you carry the gold fabric? Yes, that is the Kimberbell, and she's got it on the website already. It's the Kimberbell embroidery leather. It's all under the Friday Fun Day it's, category. Yeah, it's under the Friday Fun Day uh, category. category. And I think you've got the rose gold, the gold, mm -hmm. and she's got the other ones. Okay anything else and she's got also i don't know if they're on the website the the leathers but you can call the store and um oh pens for your scan and cut great idea oh, doris great idea. yeah all the supplies for your scan and cut because the brayer will fit in this bag uh, so we won't have to be looking so for the you don't have the brayer anymore <laughs> yeah <laughs> always looking for the brayers. looking for the brayers and all those little tiny pens and all that kind of stuff they all fit in one of these cute bags so um, anyway, and then you can you can actually even do vinyl on these if you wanted to and use your scan and cut. So um, really fun, fun project. So any other questions or anything? That was fun, Lainey. Thank Are you. Are we good? Yeah, we had a great time. That was oh, will they be selling kits for this? No kits because you are... Um, there's so many different choices yeah, to have. 
So, but you they do have all the different color of the bags. And she's got the three different ones I showed you. Um, let me go back to this camera. These three colors are on the website. So you've got the green, the plum color is a specialty. Once they're gone, they're gone. And then you've got this pretty, this, and of course, Lenny's pink. And so, <laughs> Lini had to do a pink one. <laughs> so, <laughs> but um, again, there's other colors as well. You can come in the store, but these are what the ones that are on the website. Both sizes? Yes. Mm -hmm. Both sizes are on the website. Are the dates reactions in the blank? I'm not understanding, Lynette. So, anyways. If that's it, I guess we will close for this Friday and look forward to seeing you next Friday. Thanks, guys. Thank you.